Assalamualaikum, congratulations to all of you as we arrive at chapter 7. I'm teacher Kartina, let's begin our lesson for today, Body Coordination Part 1. Human endocrine system is a system of glands that make hormones that coordinates body functions. It helps cells talk to each other. Hormones control our moods, growth, metabolism, organs, and reproduction. Hormones are secreted by glands into our bloodstream so they can travel to other body parts. They are responsible for almost every cell, organ, and function in our body. Imagine when you look at a large lizard on the wall of your home, what are the automatic things you will do? Yes, you and perhaps my own self will also be shocked and scream. Why are we screaming? How can this happen so fast? The endocrine system has the answer. When we have anxiety, the endocrine glands secretes hormones that cause an increase in the heartbeat, rate of breathing, blood pressure, and glucose level, as well as the rate of metabolism, which will then result in more oxygen and glucose are provided to the muscles for energy. An endocrine gland is an organ that makes and puts out hormones that do a specific job in your body. What is a hormone? Hormones can be defined by the 2P plus 3S formula. P for protein, prolonged effect, S for slow response, secreted in small quantities, and stimulates the functions of tissues or organs. There are a few places in our body that produce hormones. Hormones are involved in most of the chemical reactions which occur in our body. We have five main endocrine glands in our body. The pituitary gland, thyroid gland, pancreas, adrenal gland, and tetis for men or ovary for women. The pituitary gland is also known as the master gland because it produces hormones that control other endocrine glands. The pituitary gland, which is situated below the cerebrum, produces ADH or antidiuretic hormone and GH, growth hormone. ADH controls the water quantity reabsorbed by kidneys. The excessive amount of ADH in the body will result in the headache and dizziness. Meanwhile, the deficiency of ADH will give effects like poor water reabsorption, excessive thirst, excessive production of urine, or diabetes insipidus. Growth hormone stimulates growth in children and maintains healthy body composition in adults. The excessive GH in the body will result in the uncontrolled growth or gigantism. The deficiency of growth hormone will result in dwarfism. The thyroid gland, which is located in front of the trachea, produces thyroxine hormone. Thyroxine hormone controls the metabolism rate and controls both physical and mental development in children. Excessive thyroxine hormone will cause high rate of metabolism, sweating, sleeping difficulties, very good appetite, tendency to become thin or swollen neck. Thyroxine deficiency will cause low rate of metabolism, cannot adapt with cold, tendency to become fat, goiter, Stunted physical and mental development in children or cretinism or myxedema, less energy in adults. 
The pancreas is located at the back of the stomach. Pancreas produces insulin which controls the glucose level in the blood by converting excess glucose into glycogen to be kept in the liver. Excessive insulin will cause low glucose levels or hypoglycemia and excessive thirst. Meanwhile, insulin hormone deficiency will increase the level of glucose in blood or diabetes mellitus. The fourth endocrine gland is adrenal glands. Adrenal glands are located above the kidneys, which produces adrenaline. Adrenaline prepares the body to act in an emergency or panic situation by increasing the rate of metabolism, heartbeat, and glucose level. The excessive adrenaline produced in the body will increase the blood pressure and glucose and also salt concentration level. In the other hand, if the adrenaline hormone is produced or secreted less than usual, it will result in the weak muscles or ability to overcome stress will diminish. A pair of testes in men produce testosterone. Testosterone controls the development of male secondary sexual characteristics and stimulates sperm production. The excessive testosterone hormone in the body will result in the male characteristics in a woman or excessive body hair. The low level of testosterone in the body will give in low sperm count or delay in achieving puberty. A pair of ovaries in the pelvic space in women produce estrogen and progesterone. Estrogen controls development of female secondary sexual characteristics and stimulates ovary production. The excessive estrogen will cause female characteristics in men or feminization. On the other hand, estrogen deficiency will cause an incomplete development of female secondary sexual characteristics. The function of progesterone is to control a woman's menstrual cycle. Excessive progesterone will cause premature baby born, meanwhile its deficiency will cause infertility. Thank you.